Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. So, this is a Yoruba Eda statement saying, calling on the National Assembly to impeach President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, and according to him, the Tinibu you see there is no longer the Tinibu of 10, 15 years ago. He said that the man is old, and he doesn't know what he's doing. This man said a lot of things in this particular video. And I couldn't agree less. I'm also happy that this is coming from a Yoruba man. I'm going to be letting you guys watch the video. Listening to him yourself. But I want to beg you all to please help me. Uh, by liking and sharing this video. So that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Let's watch the video. Total shambles. Dr. Pierce, why would you think that the possibility of an impeachment <coughs> exists at all for the president before well, 2020? Well, I, I, I have to be hopeful that the National Assembly members will do what is right for Nigeria. And what is right for Nigeria is that this administration cannot stand. The rate of insecurity... <laughs> The rate at which the economy is going, all the policies that this, uh, this president is taking. You know, the president we have is not the man that we all thought he was. This is not Bola Metinubu of 10, 15 years ago. This man is gone senile. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's destroyed the economy and the whole country is going down. If you don't see that, you see, the National Assembly is the key. I know. It's a tall order to expect them to impeach him. But for the sake of survival of this country, this man must either go or we have a review of the 1999 Constitution. The National Assembly has a lot to think about for the sake of Nigeria. They don't go there just because they're in a political party. They're not representing a party when they go there. They're representing the people, the interests of the people. If they take the interests of the people to heart, they will think about either putting this guy in order or getting him impeached. Impeached because, it seems to me, all his appointments are personal appointments. They're not helping the country. He himself doesn't know what he's doing. The economy is gone. Now, the dollar to the Naira is, I think, 1400 <laughs> The cost of petrol, companies are folding up, unemployment is up. The country is in serious trouble. Something drastic must happen. That's never happened before. We never impeached the president before. I don't think. This will be the first time. Because this is the first time we're having the kind of disastrous administration in the history of Nigeria. You think Dr. The, yeah, so, sorry, just one more uh, moment, Shaitan. Uh, just a follow-up on that, Dr. Pierce. You think that the state of the economy uh, uh, constitutes an impeachable offense on the president? And then you use a strong word uh, that only uh, a medical personnel can probably, you know, uh, validate a senility. But this is an allegation that uh, uh, many in the opposition, like your good self, have used while he was campaigning. But here we are, almost eight months after winning the election. The president is agile. Uh, his speech is a lot better. But you are still accusing him uh, of being senile. How, how can you prove uh, that grave allegation? I cannot prove it. But this is my observation. And if you go into the public sphere, you will find that a lot of people believe in the same thing. We are talking about making appointments that don't make any sense. We are talking about allegations against people he has put in office. Look, you said he won the election, but look, <clears throat> I say I never gave him the election. He didn't win any election. 31% of the votes were cast, and I never declared somebody winner. That election should have been redone totally. Nobody won that election. I never gave it to Tinubu, and now we are finding that the man in the seat, does not deserve to be there, is not qualified, is not doing his job. The first pronouncement he made on the day he was inaugurated was to, 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 to take away fair subsidy. Everybody, Economics 101, you know that 
Oil fuels the economy because it fuels transportation, it fuels industries. When you do that, and nobody told him to remove fuel subsidy by itself, you don't do things piecemeal like a child. He was supposed to confront the corruption in the oil industry as well as then consider removing the fuel subsidy when you have tackled the corruption in the industry. But he just removed fuel subsidy. And we told him, if you don't, Sanusi, former Emir of Kanum, did a video recently, similar to what people like myself have said from the beginning. Go to NNPC. <clears throat> if 90% of our foreign revenue is generated from NNPC and there's no money in the country, then go to NNPC, find out what's happening there. The president doesn't want to go there. Why? Look, if you don't do your job, you're going to be sacked. If you fail on your job, you're going to be sacked. Now we're giving him, we give him up to a year. After one year, if things go on like this, he needs to go. I know he won't go peacefully. Now it's left to the National Assembly. The people who represent the masses of Nigerians to tell him, you're not able to do this job. And that's why I say senility. Maybe that's not the right word. But he's failing to do his job. He seems unable to do it. It seems he just wanted to be president for the sake of it. Now he's got it. Now he doesn't know what to do. And we're saying based on performance, based on performance, in terms of the critical things that keep a country going, the economy, security, now everybody's been kidnapped. Even on my way from mainland Yaba to here, I'm thinking, anything is possible in Nigeria now. <laughs> One may just be accosted and taken away. Nigeria, nobody is safe. The economy is in shambles. It is time for us to do what we've never done before, based on performance. All right, my people. So the truth, they say, is always bitter. But if we must survive in this nation, we must tell ourselves the truth, no matter how hard it is. Tinibu has failed. These people, they don't know what else to do. This man is driving us to a land of no return. And the earlier we tell ourselves this truth and look for a possible solution to our problems, the better for every one of us. Let us take away this tribal and religious sentiment and face the reality because that is the only way we can come out of this mess that we are in Nigeria today. That is it for you all, my people. I saw the news, I saw the video, and I decided to come share with you all. With all of that being said, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.